in this video we will see how the pneumatic circuit works so here we have taken the circuit of operation of double acting pneumatic cylinder now various components there as shown over here as usual the air from compressor it will enter into the filter regulator and lubricator unit where air is cleaned and its pressure is its pressure is regulated and it is lubricated then we are having two walls s1 and s2 those are nothing but push button operated as you can see this is the push button operated and spring control direction control wall so it is normally closed wall so this is closed position this is the closed port this is also the closed port so unless and until the push button is pressed we will not get this open position or left envelope mode of both this wall then this is the shuttle wall which will control the direction of the flow then with the help of the flow from this side we will get the left envelope mode and if you get the flow from this side then you will get the right envelope mode so how that is obtained that is very very important over here again this is the pilot operated direction control wall then this is a1 is the double acting cylinder this is roller operated direction control wall which will control the right envelope mode so here there are two important things one is either you can operate s1 or s2 to get the left envelope mode and the right envelope mode is obtained by this roller operated direction control wall so important part is that either you have to op operate either s1 or s2 to get the left envelope mode and you have to and you will get the right envelope mode by the operation of this roller operated direction control wall and this operation is obtained by this piston rod so let us see with the help of animation how the motion can be obtained so first we will play the animation and just will get the idea that the motion is taking place over here when the push button is pressed for either s1 or s2 when during the retraction stroke there is a negative value of the velocity and during the forward stroke there is a positive value of the velocity so let us try to understand the circuit over here suppose we push this push button of the wall s1 so as you can see when you push this push button then you will get this left envelope mode now air from compressor it will enter into the frl unit and then it will be directed over here from 1 to 2 then it will come over here the spool will get shifted from this position to this position so it will block this port and now it will easily air will easily go from this side to this side now the air from the frl unit will again go further but this is the block position so it will not enter over here now it will come over here this is also the block position so it has to go through this particular opening and through this particular port so one and four they are now connected so air will flow from compressor to the frl unit to this port one and from port one to port four and it will cause the forward stroke the air from the rod side will go through this two to three to the exhaust so this is our forward stroke in which we will get the positive velocity as shown in the figure now whatever the position that we are getting or whatever the action that we are getting by operating s1 the same action we will get by operating this wall s2 also so in that particular case this pull will get will come over here and will block this port otherwise the operation will be same so let us see the animation further now the important part is that when this rod it moves in the forward direction it will press this roller operated direction control wall in such a way that we will get the left envelope pole otherwise it is always the close normally close position and now you can see the air from this side will enter over here and from 1 to 2 it will come over here and now it will operate this pilot operated direction control wall so that we will get the right envelope mode and once we get the right envelope mode the return stroke will start so let us see that with the help of animation 
so now you can see we are having this particular air from the compressor will enter into the frl unit will come over here from port 1 to 2 it will enter over here on the rod side and will cause the retraction of the piston and the return stroke starts and therefore there is a negative value of the velocity so let us complete that particular stroke so now we are having the complete operation and once the piston rod it leaves the roller we will get again the right envelope mode over here suppose we operate the wall s2 then also we will get the same operation as you can see as the wall s2 is operated push button is operated this is now open position for wall s2 otherwise it is normally closed from 1 to 2 it will push the spool in such a way that this port will get blocked and this port will get open and it will the air will go over here and will get the left envelope mode so air will now enter from the compressor through the frl unit it will enter over here from one to four and will be admitted on the cylinder side of the piston so that the forward motion will take place the air from the previous stroke from the rod side will go to the exhaust so either you can operate s1 or s2 to get this particular operation now once the piston starts moving in the forward direction it will press the roller and then we'll get this position and there will be now automatic operation of the cylinder in the reverse direction or will obtain the return stroke so in this way the pneumatic circuit works so this is the operation of double acting cylinder with the help of push button operated direction control wall and the return stroke is controlled by the roller operated direction control wall thank you very much for watching